Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about one technique is uh, how to enhance contrast uh, like uh, low contrast uh, images. These images can be product of uh, infrared photography or um, could be military applications for example drones uh, could be also surveillance. So most of the time these images have a, a, a low contrast and there are techniques that we can apply to these images in order to increase the contrast. One of these techniques is um, histogram equalization. Uh, I will be showing you how to do it in C++. In the next uh, uh, tutorial I will show you how to do it in Python because uh, there's a lot to cover so let's get, let's get started. We cannot cover it all in one video so that's why I made two videos. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to um, SSH into our Raspberry Pi The first thing I'm going to show you is to show you this uh, this um, uh, code right here. Let me open it a little bit, make it a little better. Um, and it's what this is going to do. If you in this in this part right here, it shows um, how to compute values on a histogram. This is a, these are very two important pages in the OpenCV uh, histogram equalization because it, it's going to show you the what goes on on uh, behind the scenes and in the next page also as you can see it, it explains what bins are and what uh, w everything that I'm going to be doing uh, is right here. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna be using the code from from Robert Lagarnier's application cookbook because uh, it's, it's it's very it's very efficient code and I'm going to t uh, also have a copy in my website I'm gonna keep it for you guys to use um, so let's get started let me show you this here this one is the first thing I, I this one here is reading the input image but this most of the everything is found in here in the include histogram H uh, header file I will be showing you the header file that's the same header file from from his book and uh, it's nothing new here it's just taking an image in, in uh, a grayscale it's checking to make sure that there's an image there it's displaying the image is uh, the histogram 1D which is part of the histogram header file which I'll be showing you and then here is uh, is using the get histogram out of the image that we input right here and then it's gonna loop over the bins. These are the bins that, that he will be uh, looping over from 0 to 255 and 0 to 256 okay so this is what's going on that's why I'm trying to show you this and let me show you now the the header file and this is the histogram like I said right out of his book and this is he's using object oriented I don't think they are in this one that's why I'm, I'm, I'm giving you uh, both examples one using object oriented one not using object oriented programming okay so as you can see he's using the class histogram 1d private class public class these are the the bins right here that the same thing that is going on here with the ranges and he's splitting oh, where is it uh, he's computing there's many things going on I'll be using the same header file for a, for a, for a couple images but I'm just I'm going to include it in my website also so you can go step by step carefully and look into it okay so let's get started so let let's see what it does uh, let's let me show you the CMake and this is the the CMake template is computer histogram values so I'm gonna be using the same executable name over and over again I'll, I'll just be changing the 
the the uh, the file here, and as you can see, it's got the histogram H header, header file and the color histogram header file. Okay, so let's make and make, and now let's compute, and I will explain you to you as I go. And as you can see, this is the image. And as you can see, the image is the little cubbies here. The little cups, as you see, drinking water. And as you can see, the histograms starts up. And I will show you a, a, an image what it looks like. It starts really high, high, high. And then it starts going down. And it starts going down. And it starts going to zero. Okay, zero in this case will be uh, dark, black, and 255, 256 will be light, white. Okay, so from it starts really uh, lighter and then it gets a, a little bit uh, into the zero values. Okay, so now let me show you another one so you can see it. Um, what, a, what the uh, histogram looks like. Actually, let me do it from here. Let's show compute show equipments histogram image. This is the one. Copy paste. And as you can see, it's very similar to the one before. It, all of this is the same, but here the big difference is the plane. The histogram was an image. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. Uh, but I gotta change the, the make first, and let's change it right here. Actually, and put it right here. Control X, yes. See make and then make. It's linking. It shouldn't take that long and it's done. And now compute, execute. And as you can see, it does the same thing that it did before, but now it's showing you the histogram. As you can see, now it's, it's a lot easier to explain to you. So you can see, this is what I was telling you before. Starts really high, as you can see, it goes all the way to to 3,205, which I would assume 4,727 is the highest, which is I would assume is like right here. And then, as you can see, it starts going down, going down, going down, and it starts going down, and then it gets to, as you can see, here there's a little hump right here. And then it starts going down again, it starts going down this area, like right here, is about this area right here, and it starts going until it becomes zero. Okay? And as you can see, this is uh this is how it works. This is the histogram image. And let me show you another one. Uh, and now let me show you equalize the image. First of all, let me escape here. Equalize. Doesn't work. Yes. Okay. Equalize. Why am I doing this? Just go here. Show equalize image C++. Copy. I'm going to show you both because of time. As you can see, this one is going to do a little bit similar to what we did before, but this is different right here. It's, it's using the equalize function right here. If you go to the OpenCV, they explain it a lot more in detail, and it's going to show you the histogram. It's going to take the histogram of the image, but now it's going to be equalized. Okay? So you're going to see uh, the, the flattening effect taking place. And let's do it. Control 
x and let's change the the list text file and all I gotta do is change it here Save, yes, and now make and then make. And now let's run it. And as you can see, original image equalize, as you can see, a lot lighter. So it's a, it's, it's a is flattened as you can see it's spread out more evenly distributed and as you can see the effect on the equalized uh, image this is the histogram of the equalized image uh, if you remember look how different from the original one and this is the what it effect that it does on the contrast of the original low contrast this is low contrast and then higher contrast Okay, I will be including the code for, for, for the whole tutorial, the header files, and also the, the, the files that I use. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do this in Python. I, this is in C++. Next one, it will be in Python. Uh, this is the end of the tutorial. Like always, uh, if you like this tutorial, please uh, click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.